Any views, thoughts, and opinions expressed by the journalists and guests are solely that of the journalists and guests and do not reflect the views, opinion, policies, or positions of Positive Lifestyle Management, LLC. <music>
This is exactly what I'm about to say. When you waking up every day in a senseless battle or war or conflict within yourself. And I say within yourself, because when we are out there, we are battling peoples who look exactly the way we look. So we are at battle, we are at war, we are in conflict within ourselves. So when you wake up every day like this here, and you wake up and you putting your, your gun on you, and you leave out that door, you don't know if you're gonna make it back home that night. Your family don't know if you're going to make it back home that night. That's stress. We don't understand that it's stress. So we go out there and we're doing the things that we do. And then eventually the system catches up, catches up with us. And a lot of us wind up in jail. At that point, now we can get some rest. Our families and our friends, all of them are uh, 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 relieved at some point that we are off the streets and that they think or they perceive that we are somewhere safe. When we go inside those county jails, a lot of us be so tired mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically tired that when we get inside the jail, we go in there and we sleep for days so that our minds can get back to normal. We are relieved that we are away from it. You never tell you why? Because it was me. I was one of those ones. When I got locked up in 1990, I was so relieved but I didn't understand it at that time. It was just like now, okay, I can breathe. I can rest. I can think. I can exercise. I can eat properly. I ain't got to be looking over my shoulder. I ain't got to be ducking in and out of hallways. I ain't got to be taking a shower over here and keeping my clothes in the trunk of my car. I don't have to do all that stuff no more. I don't have to look at this female and see if I don't trust her. Or I look at this friend and say, is he, what side he on? Now everybody becomes a suspect. That's the same thing these young men are going through out there in these streets right now today.